guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming here i'm about to do this video about andy cohen's latest interview on the real housewives of atlanta so i'm glad that you're here with me ensure that you like and subscribe people ensure that you like and subscribe thank you so much for being here now i want to play a little clip for you so you can hear exactly what he ever said and then i'm gonna come back and tell you guys exactly what i think of this entire situation rough time for the last chunk of that uh, when Kim was on because it got very uh, I hate a five against one situation you do. It, yeah I don't like it because it's a gang up like and that. the problem is that Kim was not she all it, it's less problematic when the person is good at kind of taking up for themselves. Yeah. And Kim was not having an easy time with her she words. She not defend she herself. She was making it harder for herself. So the whole thing, it just, and in retrospect, in thinking of it, when it was really, no one was listening to me, and I really did not have control of the room, and I wish that I had walked off of that reunion. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So you guys just heard what Andy had to say there, and I have to say that what Andy said was some bullshit, okay? That was some serious bullshit. Like, what the hell? Is someone supposed to feel sorry for Kim because she cannot defend herself? And how is it that these women got ganged up on her or whatever? Like, if you... As an individual, look, go into a situation and you are get having an issue with everyone that is around you and you are saying nasty things about everyone around you You're on a reality show where you know that you usually have a uh, reunion where you have to answer for all the shit that you said and everyone's going to see and hear all the shit that you had to say about them. And you choose to attack each and every one of the women on the show. Nini's house, uh, uh, Candy lives in the ghetto. She wants you so badly. Nini parks in handicap. Her house has got roaches. Uh, Kenya doesn't have a husband. Her life is fake. Everyone is jealous of you. And you're talking crap about people all of the how do you come on the reunion and not expect a reaction? Kim had to be held accountable for the trash that she was talking about these women all throughout the season. She went out there. She picked her battles. And she had to have known that, you know what, when the reunion comes around, I am going to be toasted. These women are going to be coming for me because I started this shit. And therefore, she should have known better and equip herself better and he goes on to talk in his trash oh and it's it's the situation is much more easier to handle when the person is able to properly defend themselves and like what the hell like what does it matter to me that you do not know to articulate yourself and to handle the situation how what does it matter to me i am hurt and i am bothered and i am angry at the trash that you were talking about me all season do you really think that anyone has the time to think oh my gosh kim is gonna be so hurt nobody cares because kim was reckless kim didn't care when she was talking trash about everyone and just walking around thinking that she is somehow better than these women she has something negative to say about everyone kenya everyone she was not thinking so for andy to come and back paddle his ass back the, all this backpedaling that he's doing and talking all this trash he is just getting the side eye from me i really can't believe that man did that it is so ridiculous of him to say something like that like we trusted you andy but you showing your ass now okay but i'm gonna let you guys hear what else he had to say and the shit got even more real it got even more real he wanted to walk off like you gotta be kidding me That would have been... You know what, Andy? I yeah. have a feeling there might be another opportunity. There could be another Andy walk. But I'm telling you, I, it has to be balls to the walls bad for me to walk off. Yeah. I just did Beverly Hills. I ain't walking off there. No. New York, 
I can exactly. handle. I'm not walking off. I, I don't know when the next one will be that I would ever walk off. Atlanta. Up. I mean, when you went to that bathroom with Kim. Yes. And she, I mean, the, I was like, God, I want to be Andy right now just for a moment. Did you? Yeah, because because you, you have to play this weird game of knowing great t- TV. Yeah. And then knowing when shit's going to hit the fan. It's funny. In that moment. I was literally like, the, obviously there were cameras on me. I was mic'd in my mind, and I, I can be, and I will always tell you totally. that I can be an idiot sometimes. <laughs> but in my mind, we were in there. I was like, oh no, the reunion's done. Like they're never using this. Like in my mind, like I, I was so dumb. Like, and I said to them after, I was like, you know what? I mean, I don't think that was interesting. You know what? I, Yep, you guys heard that. Andy Cohen says that he wished that he would have walked out on the show that is the most watched on the Bravo Network, the show that everybody is tuning in to see. He is saying that he wished he would have walked out because the women ganged up on Kim and they weren't listening to him. And he felt like Kim was was ganged up on or whatever. You know, this this is some crazy shit because I remember Andy actually telling Kim that, you know, he was actually telling her that, you know, she caused this entire shit to come down on herself because she was negative the whole season. Now, what it seems like to me that Andy... After this whole situation happened, he sat and had a white conversation with his white colleagues, and they were all pressed about these uh, black women making this white woman cry, this white woman who was deserving of everything that she got and more. He sat and he spoke with those colleagues, and, you know, they was like, oh, you can't do that to her or whatever, and now he feels the need to defend Kim and all of the bullshit that she caused for herself. Kim knew exactly what she was doing, and then she sat up, and she she was acting like, you know, she never did anything. She was lying. Even Andy added to the whole situation by telling Kim that, you know, she was like a Trump's, um, Trump's PR person, you know, Sarah Huckleberry, or whatever the hell is her name. And now you are here saying that you felt like she was being ganged up on. You know, I don't remember five persons coming at Kim, but probably you were the fifth person because it was just Nini, Kenya, Candy, and Cynthia now and again. So definitely there were five persons and you were the fifth person asking her all of these questions. And then you compare her to uh, that Sarah lady and whatever. And now you're trying to act like you're totally innocent of this situation. Andy, I am ashamed and I am shocked that you would say something like that. But there we go right back to that white privilege shit. Like, what? why didn't you talk about being ganged upon when Kenya was in the hole for two seasons from season six to seven? She was brutally attacked. At, she, she Listen... Okay, season six and seven, everyone was on Kenya's case. Kenya was getting dragged left, right, and center. And she wasn't very good at defending herself when it came to having to deal with all of these ladies at once. But you never heard you talking about persons being ganged upon and all, uh, and you wish you had walked out and whatever. Then you go on to talking about, uh, this was the only, um, franchise like that you felt like walking out on because you did Beverly Hills and you did New York and you did this and you didn't feel like walking out so what are you really saying Andy what are you really saying this is the thing this is the problem with you people you see the black people are the entertainment we're so entertaining we bring in the viewership people want to see us people want to see uh, see what we're saying but when a white person does something and we got to check the ass just like we would check anybody else who says something that we don't like here you are feeling all sorry for Kim who started her troubles and is the source of her problems and now that we are giving it to her the way that we would give it to anyone else you are feeling sorry for her and she's being ganged up on and all of these crazy things and you want to walk out well you should have walked your ass out Andy and never come back and you know what just don't bring the white trick back on the show how about that 
So you won't have to say that anyone was ganging up on her when she clearly started her problem. She is the reason for her problem. She attacked persons. She was talking trash about everybody. And she had her ass handed to her as she deserved. And now you are there defending her actions. I am so angry with Andy for this entire nonsense because this really shows because he said, you know, he even, you know, in the beginning, he was saying that, you know, Kim is the reason for her problems. He told her as plain as day, you know, you were the one that started it. You flamed nothing positive. So there was nothing positive to ask you. You helped drive that nail in Kim's coffin. You helped drag that girl. And now because your white colleagues got in your ass about me uh, uh, contributing to the white woman crying, you are back paddling, you are pussy popping, and what? whatever else trying to get out of this situation trying to say oh i'm so sorry for kim kim was attacked and we stand in solidarity with her white sister and her salty ass tears like we don't care for kim and those crocodile tears and that nonsense she brought that whole shit on herself she is a racist she says racist shit and that's why they had to drag her then you go on to saying that you didn't think that those um the conversation that you and Kim had in the bathroom would actually be used. Like, Andy, who are you talking to? Do we look like a bunch of kids? Do we look dumb or something? Do we look dumb to you, Andy? You know exactly what you were doing, and you were here for it all. But when you start again, the backlash from your fellow white people now you want to back out of this situation and operate like you were so sorry for kim she was not deserving of any of the shit that she got it was so unfair to her she was tagged this bunch of bad ass black people we just give her a mouth licking and we trashed her and we dragged her for no reason and she did not start anything she was not deserving of it you are ridiculous for this and we will not forget you andy we will not forget this this will not be forgotten okay this is exactly what we're talking about this white privilege shit and that's why nini was asking you know uh kim why is it she got her own show and she couldn't tell us but the only reason she got her own show is because she's white like i need to ask you why are there no black persons on uh any other other fr franchise why is there no white person on new york or beverly hills or orange county or anything are you meaning to tell me that you couldn't find no black person to cast there but it seems as though you have to inject a white person into this cast to somehow make it pop or something like we don't need kim there you can keep this one for us let's just have our hoa for black people okay let's just have it for us you know because then you won't have you or kim won't have no reason to accuse us of trying to attack your poor innocent white girl you know who is not deserving of anything she didn't do anything we're just being so unfair we're being so nasty and so rude to her okay you just keep her over there and we'll stay over here and we'll have no problem andy you won't have to backpedal you won't have to feel sorry for not another white bitch okay just don't bring any over an rhoa because we can't handle them the way that we will handle everyone else when kenya was being backed up into the wall by phaedra candy nini cynthia everybody that was sitting on that couch we didn't hear you speak about anyone being ganged upon but this poor innocent white girl is now being ganged upon like really andy you are ridiculous with this nonsense we will not have you you will not be forgotten you will not be forgiven this is absolutely ridiculous okay this white chicks party city here biatch you're just picking up for this chick and all the trash that she has talked and all the shit that she has done to these women is justifiable and they were so nasty and so rude and so wrong for telling her exactly what they thought of the trash that she was doing where is your scooter kim okay where is your scooter party city wig bitch and then we gotta feel so sorry for her the I just can't with Andy. I still cannot believe that he would go out there and say something like that. Like she was attacked and 
and they were ganging up on her and he had this five on one situation and this and that and the other like andy you are a flip flopper honey you are flipping and flopping you are sliding all up in your shit because you cannot tell me that you never thought that that footage from the uh, washroom, the conversation that you had, would have been used. That was good for television. But now your ass is backpedaling and we are watching you for this shit. Now, Nini had some. So, Nini tweeted, um, if Kim was ganged up and she deserved it, that's what happens when you talk reckless about everybody. Uh, she even went on to say, and I don't remember anyone caring uh, about me getting ganged up on in season 7. Think Dr. Jeff, wearing white at the reunion. Cynthia, Peter, Claudia, Kenya, Candy all had something to say to me. I don't remember anybody caring. Just saying. You know, she even retweeted something that a fan had posted. They said, at the release for Andy to open his mouth and say Kim was negative all season. Just to say she was ganged up on blows my mind. You know, I don't exactly agree with Nini on her ever being ganged up on. Like, she was like Kim. She deserved that shit, okay? But what she's saying is totally understandable, you know? You know? I just can't with Andy and this nonsense. Like, it is what it is, okay? Like, Andy's gonna do Andy. We just have to be aware. We just have to stay woke and see the shit that is happening, okay? But, yeah, I don't agree with Nene that she was backed up into no wall at all. Like, that was the first season that Nene, somebody actually stood up to Nene, and that's why she felt that way but for Andy to say that is just absolutely ridiculous anyway thank you guys so much for being here thank you so much for visiting my channel and sure you like and subscribe like get in those comments and let me know what you thought about this whole situation with Andy having this entire conversation talking about how the women were so mean to Kim and back it her up in the corner do you think that he was right do you think he was wrong why do you think he said it what do you think in commentary? Just let me know. I love you guys for being here today. Thank you so much. Bye.